name is uh, Nelson Msiomi but I'm known uh, as Neli Mchoraji uh, by my fans uh, on social media. So um, I do art full time. I started in 2014. This is an inborn talent. So when I started the art, um, I just used to practice to draw more like cartoonish stuff. And then now I started watching YouTube videos and perfecting my shading and proportion. And then now I turned it into business. So at the moment I draw people for a living. Initially, I, I just used to draw for fun, you know, like any other kid. You draw cars, uh, buses and stuff. But then uh, there was a time in uh, some early, early 2014, I drew an art. There's a friend of mine who used to, who came to me and told me, hey dude, sunichore, msupangu and stuff, stuff. So I did the art just out of it, like, let me, let me do the art and get rid of the guy. and stuff. So when I did the art, uh, he, de he, he delivered the art to the girlfriend. The girlfriend was so happy. So when the guy got the salary, he gave me a thousand shillings. That's where the idea came. I was like, oh, so I can make money from this talent. For me, I do colored pencil art. If you look in Kenya, I think we have like three colored pencil artists only, the ones I've seen. And um, arguably, I'm the most established one among the colored pencil art. Most artists in Kenya have not uh, gone into colored pencil. Most do painting because uh, in art galleries and art exhibition they like to showcase paintings so most artists get into painting so i wanted to be a little bit unique so i was working uh I, I just hustler normal hustler toka isla so you hustle here and there whatever you get mjengo kiasi you know job jobs too and then 2015 that's when i had seen oh so i can make this kind of amount per month from this. Now I decided now this is going to be my career because I can depend on it. It is diverse. So you get like in each category, there are uh, specific things you will need for you to start. But my artwork is pretty, for you to start, you need a, a thousand bob, you're good to go. Because these colored pencils, if you go to Tuskies, I use uh, colored pencils called Pelican. If you go to Tuskies or Naiva supermarket, they sell them at 250 for 12 of them. Mm -hmm. You only need that, and then you need an ivory paper. Ivory paper, I, I buy them along Sheikh Karume Road. There are so many shops there who, uh, who sell uh, the ivory papers. Bob gives you four papers. So they are not, uh, with my art, you don't need expensive stuff. But then there are those artworks like painting. Painting, you need a lot. You need to buy paints. Each paint goes for around 250. The canvas, the palais, the brushes, those ones, they are a bit expensive. So it just depends in, in which category of art are you. If you are into pencil or colored pencil like I do, you don't need a lot. For around a thousand, you are good to go. Well, uh, so many, uh, it, it depends with uh, artists like music. You will send, you will find that a more established musician makes more even per show than an upcoming one or a average mid, mid, middle way. So for me, I make around 80 to 100k, 80 in a bad month, 100k in a good month. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that because it's something I do at the comfort uh, I, I don't, I don't like, I don't have to wake up early, I don't have, I just have to plan myself to make sure I reach my goals, I deliver my art talks to clients. So if I get 100k and after I've bought the frames and what I remain with around 60, that one is well off. So I'm happy for this. It has, uh, this job has, has made me, I, I, bought, I bought a Kashamba in Kitengela, I bought a Kashamba in Obama Estate from this at one. So I thank God. I sell my art pieces uh, based on two factors. The first factor is the number of people in that particular art. And then the second is the size of the art. So I do three sizes. The size A3, which is the normal size. 90% of my clients, they ask for size A3. And then there's the bigger size A2. And then there's the biggest size A1. So it depends on the number of people for each size. Like for... For, for the normal size A3, if I just draw one person, 
I will charge them like 3,500 complete with frame. But then if it, 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 it goes to even like five, because somebody may give you a family photo and, and tells you, hey, draw me maybe four people in one art. That one goes up to 9,000. And then there's the bigger size A2, which starts from 9,500. And then there's the biggest, which, which starts from 18,500. And that is inclusive with the frame. With, with the, the pricing, first I decided not to be greedy. I just said, hey, because most artists my level, they start the normal size, they start from 10,000. But I decided, no, I don't want to be greedy. I want to draw everyone at a fair price. So I stuck to, because I've been charging 3,500 for nearly four years now. In fact, some of the students I've mentored into art, they even charge more than me at the moment. <laughs> so I decided, no, I don't want to overcharge anyone. I just want to have, a, because I'm earning more than enough, there's no need to be greedy. So whenever, even, a pro, even prominent people, whenever they ask for art, I will just charge them the same, same price. I, I will not take advantage, ah, this is an MP, this is what let me overcharge. So there are some MPs who will be like, ah, this is good work, let me pay you better. I've done uh, artworks for Deputy President William Ruto. Uh, although I did not deliver the art to him personally, but there's a prominent person, an MP who ordered for art to deliver to him. I'm told, aliweka kwa nyumba yake. I've done artworks for Atuoli, hiko kwa ofisi yake. I've done artworks for Anyang Nyongo, hiko kwa ofisi yake. I've done, celebrities have done artworks for uh, Gengeton artists, nearly, nearly most of them. So I've done artworks for so many people. They just draw, share, and, and uh, you know, and when you draw, this is another thing, when you draw, uh, if, if you ask me to draw you, and I draw an artwork, I give it to you, you go and hang it in your wall. You know, the word, word of mouth, the referrals, they will just come. So if you do good work and you share it with people, everything else will just fall into place. It will turn into a bigger business than you even anticipated initially. Uh, one of the main challenge is the one I've told you, whereby people don't believe your drawing. When you're too good at drawing, most people, they tend not to believe it. They're like, uh -uh, this one you did something, this is not a drawing. And then uh, another challenge I've met is uh, pseudo accounts. These people who create a fake Nelim Choraji account, they try to to con people, I send, send money to this, I will draw you. I think that's the challenge I've, uh, I've seen. And I think that th those are the only challenge I've met. Uh, uh, and then when you're starting, you have to be patient. I think uh, most artists, they don't have the patience. Most artists, upcoming artists I've seen, they even come, somebody has just started drawing and he's already asking you, hey Nelly, how much do you charge? I want to charge people like you do. But you don't know, it takes time. Because you see me, it took me honestly around three years for me to be fully, fully established. Like now I'm fully comfortable. Hey, this will give me more, more than plenty. So people need to have, especially upcoming artists, need to have that patience. Whereby just be consistent in drawing the artworks. But then you must be patient enough that eventually things will, 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 will go bigger. Yeah. Yes. So actually, so many artists, so many artists, they they usually don't want other artists to prosper. They always feel like they're the one who should be on top, and that's it. So many can't draw all the all Kenyans. And also, when you're an artist, you know you're not just drawing Kenyans. You're drawing people all over the world. We, we, we eight billion people. How will you draw all of them? You can't. So just have a good heart and the more the more you do good you help other people the more god even raises you yes so yo kijicho yo i've seen so many artists work on io but i said some of my students are, are even they have gone they have expanded even more so if don't 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 feel like you should go through someone just do your art post your art these days social media is you just need bundles or wi-fi and you're good to go Post your art. Art is something that can be seen. So you just post your art. If it's something good, people will, people will just show up. Keep art alive. That's my motto. First of all, uh, support the artists. Support the arts. 
whenever you see somebody uh, somebody trying to to make a living from art support them pay them something small tell them to draw you uh, also follow me on my social media uh, Nelim Choraji all my social media handles if you just search Nelim Choraji YouTube you will get me Nelim Choraji Facebook you will get me Twitter uh, and Instagram